What's going on? What's going on? Shemay Diamond K in here, of course, at the Diamond K show at Radio on Fire. So many people are up in arms. So many people are upset. And uh and why are they upset? We're gonna get into that and talk about that. So OnlyFans, everybody knows OnlyFans. OnlyFans will be banning pornography starting in October. And why are they doing that? They have talked about the need to comply with their financial partners. So OnlyFans is this popular website, and they have put together a base of more than 130 million users. Largely, this is adult content, subscription, fan pages. And they announced that it is going to ban sexually explicit content in October. Uh, The company is based in the UK. And it said that it is making these changes because they want to comply with the requests of their banking partners, the people with the money. They uh, said the uh, payout providers. So effective October the 1st, 2021, OnlyFans will prohibit the posting of any content containing sexually explicit conduct company said in a statement in order to ensure the long-term sustainability of the platform and to continue to host an inclusive community of creators and fans we must evolve our content guidelines they said so according to only fans Uh, Creators will continue to be allowed to post content containing nudity as long as it is consistent with our acceptable use policy. They're going to they're going to have to explain that more. Uh, But uh, the site's uh, terms currently allow nudity, except in the case of content featuring public nudity recorded in or broadcast from Uh, a jurisdiction where public nudity is illegal. That's what they're saying right now. And of course, they're going to be sharing more details about that in the days and weeks to come. And uh, this is pretty much going to be the end of that site. (laughs) I mean, uh, uh, earlier this week, OnlyFans announced uh, announced and, and launched OFTV. And that is a uh, free streaming service that will not include any sexually explicit material. OFTV features original content from more than 100 OnlyFans creators. They so have fitness, cooking, comedy, health, and more. So they're trying to change the image of OnlyFans. I don't know if you can uh, turn this hoe into a housewife. I don't know if this website is going to be able uh, to flip like that. Only uh, OnlyFans earlier this year soft launched uh, the on-demand streaming service, which now features co- a content library of over 800 videos. Uh, so this this uh, site founded back in 2016 says that it paid out more than five billion to creators worldwide. Five billion. So you remember when the pandemic really was going on, OnlyFans skyrocketed. They had some uh, top personality fan pages, uh, uh, Bad Barbie, uh, Cardi B, Jordan Woods, uh, Tyga, Black China, Amber Rose, uh, Trey Songs. This is you know it's got a popular page over there, uh, and uh, so. A lot of people were talking about the fact that this was going to fizzle out and it looks like it is going to fizzle out. I I don't see how the popularity of this site continues after this major change. I mean, this is what got uh, explicit content, pornography and the such. That's what got OnlyFans hot. You take that away. 
And, uh, you know, it, it's primarily a place where you get that type of energy. You get that type of energy. So uh, it's, it's like Patreon, uh, uh, you know, for sex work. But in October, all that's going to change. And uh, yeah, I don't know. So some some of the venture capitalist funds are, you know, prohibited. So 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 the capital and the investors cannot put their money into adult content. They have some kind of agreements for that. And of course, OnlyFans needs money. And if they can't get money, so so it, it's like the catch 22. What got them hot is now going to make sure that they are not. In other words, the company it needs to grow. In order for the company to grow, they have to leave behind many of the users that got them known in the first place. You have a lot of people that's upset and a lot of people that are not even going to want to do business with them because of the, the history of OnlyFans. The history of OnlyFans. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at the Dominic K Show, at Radio on Fire. I think it's a wrap. I think it's a wrap for uh, OnlyFans. Uh, have you been on OnlyFans? Do you subscribe to anything? As a viewer, are you still going to be checking it out? Or did you only go to OnlyFans because, you know, some celebrity or, or, or some sexy person got you to go there in the first place i like to know people's thoughts i myself think that it is a wrap for only fans 